Okay, so um, welcome, welcome back. Um, we were talking about uh, the <coughs> STC three zero two eight. How to wire the this controller? It controls temperature and humidity. Okay, so um, now um, this is a part two. Okay, so if if you don't know how we started you can go back and watch part one okay so part two we talked about how to wire it and then what is left now is how to connect the the heater and the the humidifier okay so your heater is it has two wires okay two wires that's supposed to go to life and neutral okay so one wire of your heater has to come to port nine okay port 9 okay one wire of your heater has to come to port 9 and the other wire will join port 1 okay so the wire coming to port 1 you can cut part of it you can just cut part of it and then connect the neutral part of your heater to it okay yeah um, I'll find a day and do this more practically okay so yeah i hope you get the, the description so for the humidifier your humidifier also have two wires okay um that's supposed to be life and neutral that's in case you have 220 volt humidifier okay so one wire of your humidifier will go to port 7 okay port 7 and then the other wire of your humidifier will, will join port one okay just like you did for the heater all right so now let's talk about how to set the controller okay remember there's a display for temperature the display for humidity okay and we have small led light here so this light goes off and on yeah when it's on it tells you there's power flowing to make your heater work okay if the blue one is on it, it tells you there's power flowing for your humidifier to work okay yeah so um, if you look closely we have four buttons here okay we have one up one down and then we have two up two down so the one up one down they are used to set your temperature <clears throat> okay they are used to set your temperature and then the two up two down they are used to set your humidity <clears throat> excuse me yes okay so <clears throat> let's talk about the two buttons up here which are used to set the temperature uh, let me i'm going to use this to do the pointing I hope it works all right so the uh, the one up one up is used to set the temperature um, the, let me call it your lower limit temperature okay so one up is used to set your lower temperature let's say you want your thermostat to work between 36 degrees no let me make it more realistic and um, let's say you want your temperature to be between 37.0 and then 38.0 okay so 37.0 becomes your lower limit and then 38.0 becomes your upper limit okay yeah so in this case one up is used to set your lower limit okay one up is used to set your lower limit and then one down is used to set your upper temperature limit okay so if you are following it means we are using one up to set a temperature limit toward 37.0 okay and then the one down we are using to set uh, upper limit which is what 38.0 okay. 38.0 okay 38.0 so to do this if you just want to see what it has been set to you we'll press it once you see so right now the lower limit is set to 33.0 okay so we want our lower limit to be 37.0 
okay 37.0 so this is how we are going to do it we are going to press and hold it and then when you see it blinking you quickly increase it okay if if you you are not fast about it the blinking will stop okay so keep keep it blinking so that you can adjust it okay so i'm going to do that first so i'm pressing and holding i see it blinking i quickly increase to what 37 0.0, 0. okay so when it stops blinking it means it has automatically saved okay automatically saved now i'm going to set the upper limit which is what 38.0 38. so to set the upper limit i'm going to hold this one the one down i see it blinking i quickly increase it you are shaking okay all right so you leave it to stop blinking and then that's it okay so now i want to see what my settings are my my one up which is my lower temperature is 37.0 which is correct and then my one down which shows my upper limit is 38.0 okay so that's good so the temperature now around the sensor okay is 29.2 which is lower than what i set okay that's why the light is on telling you that there's power flowing to make your heater work your heater work okay now it's the same for the humidity okay the same for humidity let's say um typically uh, your first days of incubation you need humidity of let's say between 50 and then 65 okay so 50 becomes your lower limit and then 65 becomes your upper limit so what two up is going to be used to set which limit lower yes so two up will set a lower lower humidity of what of 50. 50 yes so i'm going to hold it and then when it's blinking i'll reduce it to oh sorry uh, okay i wasn't fast so i'm going to do it again i'll hold it whilst it's blinking i'll reduce to so remember the whole trick is that if you are not fast about adjusting it and the blinking stops it means you have to do it all over again which is pretty easy yeah so it has stopped okay then now my upper limit should be what 70 so i'm um, no we chose 65 so i'm going to hold this okay i'm holding this it's blinking i'll quickly reduce it oh okay it's blinking so i'll reduce it wait what's happening hold on okay so i'm holding it it's blinking so i'm now going to reduce it to 65 when you stop it yeah okay so right now the humidity is 90 which is way above the 65 we want so no need for the humidity humidifier to be working that's why the the bulb is off okay so remember percentage rh is for the humidity then degree Celsius for temperature okay if you want to see what your settings are just press once it will tell you your lower limit your upper limit for humidity and then for temperature just press once your lower limit just press once your upper limit all right so thanks for watching i hope this video worked for you if it worked just leave a thumbs up it really helps it, it means a lot to me just give a thumbs up and comment below hey nice video or if you have any 
problem any suggestions any comments just comment below feel free if you want me to make a video on any topic just let me know and i'll be glad to do that okay so um i i want to introduce my kit shop to you okay where we sell all these things my kit shop you can check out our website www.mykitghana.com we have these 12 volts adapter 12 volt power supply it converts um 220 volts okay 110 to 20 volts to 12 volts 2 amps okay so if you have any 12 volt appliance you want to use you can just uh, get one of this you put in your life and neutral you get your positive and negative 12 volts okay and then you can screw them to any part of your unit you know they make work uh, much easy all right and then i also have 12 volt fans very powerful 12 volt fans they blow so well yeah so thanks for watching thanks for watching um please comment, comment. bye